legendary action series Castlevania reinvents itself for the PSP with Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. We asked Castlevania's super producer Iga to tell us about his philosophy behind the game and what he was bringing that was new to the franchise. Actually, it's a little bit of something new, something old. It's Castlevania Rondo of Blood, which has only appeared in Japan, so we wanted to bring that to the fan. But instead of just doing a straight horror, we wanted to bring in 3D graphics with still the classic 2D gameplay so that people can discover it for themselves. We wondered what challenges he faced when combining 2D and 3D graphics. It's a subtle thing, but when you do 3D graphics with 2D, you've got to be very careful with it, technically. For example, in 2D, you would only have a 2D plane in the background, and then you'd have your character in front. However, with it 3D, you've got to be careful that the stairs don't go into the body of the character, or when he jumps up, he, his head doesn't get buried in the second floor. So you have to be very careful about how you have the different planes there and still make it look 3D and work in the 2D environment. The game merges 2D and 3D graphics, but we were wondering why it wasn't just a 3D game. There are actually a couple parts to that. I mean, when it comes down to it, it is an arranged version of Rondo of Blood, a classic game from the Castlevania universe. So in that, we had to be true to the original to make sure that the discoveries that I made with it when I played it originally, I wanted to make sure the fans also got that feel in the rest of the world since we never delivered it prior to that. So in that, it turned into that you needed the 2D gameplay there. But if you just do a port of it, it's not that much fun. So we wanted to make sure that it was graphics that people would look at and be very impressed with. And that's why 3D. We've seen a lot of Castlevania games on Nintendo's handhelds, but we were wondering why it took so long to get one for the PSP. One of the reasons is that to do a 3D looking game and do still do D, you needed something that was actually technologically powerful. We looked at the DS, certainly, but it really isn't a 3D machine per se. So in that, we're looking at what else is available. So I mean, after we got the sort of tech that we wanted, along came the PSP, we go, oh, this works. It's just like, and everybody around us tells us, PS will work. It has lots of potential. Do it. So, okay, we did it. And of course, EP was wondering, as a lot of fans are, what is going on with the Castlevania movie? Uh, so it's now. Well, Konami hasn't officially said anything yet, so as a Konami employee, I can't say anything either. I mean, somebody else has announced it, so it's there, I suppose. But mm, so to put it simply, I mean, mm, there's no smoke without fire, and I'll leave it at that.